tells me I've been dreaming of someone who was never real. It seems I've changed a thousand ways. I wish I looked the way I feel. Break faith. My life gets complicated. Boyfriend. Don't want to talk about it. Teenage. I'll work it out in the end. You have to be very careful and very precise. Oh, like I care. Well, you should. You never know who's going to see your toes. Well, so they see them. So they'll see them and think they're pretty now. There. Don't they look amazing? Am I going to get green flakes on the inside of my socks? Of course not. Well, yeah, probably. Oh, good. Something to look forward to. <sighs> I wonder what Alden's doing right this very second. Too bad you don't like climbing trees. What does climbing trees have to do with... <gasps> Are you serious? Why didn't I think of that? You're actually into it? Cool. I need the perfect spy on Alden outfit. Why? The whole point is for him not to see you. I know, but I should defrizz my hair just in case. It's so dark out here. I thought there was supposed to be a full moon tonight. There is. Time to lose the shades. Right. What do you think? This song goes on the demo. Definitely. Whenever that is. If studio time wasn't such major coin, we'd be in there yesterday. Yeah. But hey, I'm working on it. Not only is he totally gorgeous and the nicest guy in the world, but he's also the sensitive artist. Oh, he's perfect. Ah! Careful! He'll see you. I doubt it. He's so into his music, he wouldn't notice me unless I had six strings and a reverb pedal. How's it going? Good. Um, how's the band doing? It's doing. We got a bunch of songs to take into the studio. But doesn't studio time cost, like, major coin? Yeah, exactly. But I just got this part-time job packing boxes at my uncle's factory. Really? I should get a part-time job, too. My computer's always crashing, and I need to upgrade. Well, hey, my uncle needs someone else. Why don't you come with me now and apply? <sighs> oh, um... Yeah, packing boxes. No, I think he needs office help. Office? Mm-hmm. Um, I could do that. I just had the most amazing idea, and you are so going to love it. I'm going to organize a barbecue to raise money for your band. Wow, that would be cool. Consider it done. Gee, look at the time. If we're going to get to your uncle's, we better hurry. Thanks, Nina. smell. That's what meat packing plants smell like. The job's in a meat packing plant? Yeah, free hot dogs. Great. I I love hot dogs. Please don't let me get this job. Please don't let me get this job. All right, young lady. Last question. If you were going on a camping trip and could only take one cut of meat with you, what would it be? I picked ground beef, but you be honest. Okay. Um... Uh, a brisket? Brisket? Oh, oh, my favorite! Congratulations! You've got the job! Yes! I only let him get away with ground beef, because huh, he's my nephew. 
Here it was. The all-in opportunity I'd been waiting for. So why was it that the only thing I could think of was something my grandmother used to tell me at bedtime? Watch out for what you wish for. A meat packing plant? Get out of here! It's just part time. You're gonna last about two minutes. Do they pay you in sausages? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. I get paid just like everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> and what if you get a raise? You move up to bacon? <laughs> yeah, she'll be bringing home the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, honey. I'm concerned it'll take time away from your schoolwork. It's only on Saturdays. I suppose you can always quit if it starts to interfere. With her yakking on the phone to Maria. <laughs> <laughs> How come no one in this family ever takes me seriously? I can't talk long because my boss will be back in a sec. Do you have a cold? I'm trying not to breathe. It smells gross around here. Sure it does. That's all the toxins in the air there. But I get to stare at Alden all day. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? And in an exactly two hours, 26 minutes, and 35 seconds, we'll eat lunch together. So you're not totally miserable. As long as I don't breathe a lot. Huh? Mr. Crumkey? Ah, oh, no need to be formal, young lady. Call me Uncle Doug. Uh, okay. Uncle Doug, where's all the mooing coming from? Mooing? Well, none of that around here. Oh, guys are all dead by the time they arrive. <laughs> you want mooing? Go to Building C, the slaughterhouse around the corner. <laughs> How could my braces be picking up sounds from the slaughterhouse? Did you say something? So anyway, you should have been there. It was our best rehearsal ever. Mm-hmm. Come on, the chickens are getting restless. I can't wait to play a live audience. Sounds great. You okay? Mm-hmm. How many pigs have you got? What? Pardon me. <laughs> Sorry, will you excuse me? What was I going to do? I couldn't spend the next year of my life sounding like old McDonald's farm. I had to go to the slaughterhouse to make these noises stop. Hey guys, get with the program. I don't have all day. <laughs> Come on, bitch. I need another load of pigs up here. Right away, pronto. You done with the first batch? Hold on. The pigs won't cooperate. I know how to take care of this. <laughs> take care of this? Oh! I didn't need to hear any more. I knew what was going to happen. Hey, what have you got against animals? Me? I love animals. You've got a funny way of showing it. Excuse me, you don't know anything about me. You work here, don't you? No, I work in Building A. The meatpacking plant. Right. Great. By the time they get to you, they don't even look like animals anymore. Well, I... Uh, who are you anyway? What kind of video are you making? Sorry, I'm Dylan, a representative of COMA, Citizens Opposed to the Mistreatment of Animals. I'm doing an expose on all this. Oh, where are all the other citizens? Today, helping out at the animal shelter. Really? That's so cool. Why don't you come to a meeting? Uh, Sharon, you're not eating. Aren't you hungry? Yes, but I can't eat this. It's one of your favorites. Not anymore. As of right now, I'm a vegetarian. 
Huh? Cool. Now you can get sprouts stuck in your braces instead. You're kidding, right? What about protein? There are other ways to get protein, Adam. Look it up. Remember when you were six and just ate food that began with the letter C? I think maybe you're going through one of your phases. Yeah, the rabbit food phase. It's not a phase and it's the least I can do. Unlike the rest of you, I will no longer be a party to the killing of innocent, helpless animals. Taking a break? <sighs> Actually, I'm kind of taking a permanent break. <gasps> I have to quit. Ah, bummer. It's funny. They don't really look like meat, do they? Hmm, you're right. They kind of look more like hockey pucks. My point is, it's pretty easy to forget they used to be part of a real live animal once. Yeah, so? So, at the slaughterhouse, there were all these animals just lined up waiting to die. It was awful. That's why I'm quitting, Alden. I don't want to be a part of the killing. Cool. It's great you're taking a stand. If I felt like that, I'd quit too. But don't you feel like that too? Not really. I mean, somebody's gonna do this job. It might as well be me. The pay's good and I need the money. I couldn't believe it. This was the sensitive artist. Where were his values? Where was his heart? Wow, pretty final. Well, that's how I feel. All because he won't quit his job? I thought he was this great, evolved guy and he doesn't even care about animals. That doesn't mean that. He just needs the money. He could find another job. I've totally misjudged him. Just because you guys don't share a brain doesn't mean you can't still like him. How? He doesn't care about something I care so much about. Well, you think old movies are lame and I still like you. Oh, that's different. Why? I don't know, it just is. Okay, I'm not a vegetarian. Yet. Whatever. So, is that different too? Kind of. In a way. Maybe you just need more time. Maybe. Can we sort of change the topic now? Well, at least now I'm not alone. Welcome to the Geeky Picky Eater Society. Excellent. If I don't eat soon, I won't have time to fix my makeup. And I'm so not walking into math without lip liner. Well, did you find out what's going on? You're totally gonna love this. Does the soup have a chicken base? I don't know, probably. Does a cheesecake have gelatin in it? I don't know, probably. Gelatin? It's made from cow's bones. I don't care, I need to eat. Does the Caesar dressing have anchovy paste in it? I don't know. Prob... <laughs> Oops. Mm. Brace face, a vegetarian. How much weirder can she get? And the best part is she won't want to come to the barbecue then, right? <laughs> Sharon, hey. Nina came through and organized a fundraiser for the band. We're gonna play all our songs, and Alden's uncle's donating a ton of dogs and burgers. Tickets are only five bucks. You guys wanna come? Well, on the one hand, how could I be at a barbecue with everyone stuffing meat in their faces? On the other hand, it was only five dollars, and I really didn't want to come off as stingy. Besides, I might have been mad at Alden, but I still wanted to support his band. I am shocked. I can't believe you'd even consider going to a barbecue. What about your principles after totally wrecking everyone's lunch hour? The whole school's talking about it. Wouldn't it be hypocritical to take part in a barbecue when you're so anti-meat? It's true. I wouldn't feel comfortable. I understand. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. She probably has to stay home anyway and water her tofu plant. <laughs> Talk about ignorant. Everyone knows there's no such thing as tofu plants. You're not going, are you? Well, yeah. Actually, I, I thought I'd check it out. Really? I don't have the same problem you do with barbecues, and, well, I, 
I sort of want to hear Alden's band live. Oh. Well, that's about it for tonight. But before you go, I just want to remind you about our booth at Sophie T's Grocery Store this weekend. Are you going to go? It's really a lot of fun. Sure. Um, what will we do there? Hand out free samples of meatless hot dogs and burgers. People love it. All right, count me in. Mm, very tasty. I'll take a package. And there's no cholesterol. You can find them in the produce aisle, right at the end. Having fun? Totally. I feel like we're really making a difference. Hello? I feel bad. Alden sounds even better than when we were in the tree. Oh, I wish you were here. You'd love it. Probably, but I'm having fun too. Well, if you change your mind, this is going to go on for a while. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Everything okay? Oh, sure. My best friend's just at this barbecue, that's all. Wants me to be there. You should go. Really? You could take a bunch of these over. So people can see how yummy they are. Which meant I could go to the party and still stick to my principles. Hmm. I'm there. Everyone's making a break on. Who knows, man? Respect to the party. Nina throws the best party. Ice cream. So cool. I've noticed some empty glasses. I'm going as fast as I can. Well, maybe you should increase your heart rate. The exercise wouldn't hurt you, sweetie. Ready for the second set? Because there's plenty more. Oh. I'm sorry, but party crashers aren't welcome here. I'm not crashing. I paid for my ticket at the door. And I'm donating some delicious veggie stuff. I thought you guys might like to try some. I'll go for it. Excuse me. There's no room on the grill for your disgusting seaweed products. This is a barbecue? That's just it. These are great for barbecuing, and they're a cruelty-free alternative to meat. I'll try one. You're calling my fundraiser, which I slaved over for days, cruel? It's not personal. I just thought people might want to try something different. From what? Meat? So now you're insulting Uncle Doug, who thoughtfully donated all the food? Nice! This isn't a political rally, you know. It's a party! Exactly! You just can't stand me doing something nice, can you? You have to hog all the attention! Hello? I'm not the one yelling! Hey, what's going on? Sharon's decided to turn our party into a demonstration! I did not! Yes, you did! Uh, you think you could change the world? Guys, please! If I could, I know who I'd start with. Something that seems so right goes so wrong. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> yeah. I can't go. Why? I need to be inside where no one, especially Alden, can see me. Sharon, you can't avoid him forever. Can't I at least avoid him for 24 hours? The wounds of humiliation are still fresh. What about school? You gonna get the rest of your education online? Good idea. Then I won't be distracted by a social life. Hey, what about the very creatures you're trying to defend? The things I do for you guys. Atta girl. Now be nice to the squirrels. So what do I do when I see him? I'm sure he hates me. One, you don't know that. And two, I thought he was off your list. Well, I'm gonna have to lighten up the qualifications for my list, because eventually everyone would be off it, or almost everyone I care about anyway. Maybe I should just go back to the way I was before. This is too hard. Poor baby. I mean it. <sighs> That's probably why it's worth doing. Thank you, Zen Master Wong. It's like me, getting up at six every morning to run. I hate getting up when it's dark. 
or how Connor is always picking up everyone else's litter. With gloves on. With gloves on, it doesn't matter. He doesn't. Sometimes you just do things because they're important to you. Yeah, you're right. But it's still hard. Oh, hold an alert. Two o'clock. Oh my god, maybe I can blend in with the trees. Too late. <laughs> Hi, Alden. Hi. Hi. Hey, you playing or what? I, I better go. See you guys later. Alden, I want to pay to have your guitar fixed. Don't worry about it. My Uncle Doug gave me a raise. And it wasn't really your fault. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? He's not mad. Oh, isn't he amazing? Yeah, for someone who works in a meatpacking plant. Well, no one's perfect. And I still have lots of time to work on him. Hark, I hear the sound of a major crush coming back. Yeah. Things to do starting immediately. One, get another picture of Alden. Two, find out exactly what a reverb pedal is. And three, plan a veggie menu for our kids. <laughs>